Hey, what's up you guys? It's me, Elena, and today I'm gonna share with you my favorite products, the ones that I have been reaching for the most throughout the month of May this year, 2016. And without further ado, oh, first, let's address. Yes, I am wearing a turban. As you can see, I am not wearing, I, I am not wearing it in any kind of hijabi or anything stylish, just a turban, like non-religious turban but yeah sometimes when uh, my hair is not collaborating at all and tomorrow I'm heading to the hairdressers because my hair needs a trim I haven't been there ever since December so yeah it's about time I I gathered it in a pony and today it wasn't helping at all and yeah I put a turban and spring is coming and I think this look is really beautiful and complimentary and I like it so yeah let's just address the big elephant in the room and without further ado let's jump into the products that I have been really loving this month and without any reason or rhyme I'm just gonna pick them up and show them to you first and foremost I would say uh, this was a um, this is the C by Chloe all um, the perfume the perfume or the pop I don't know <laughs> I'll, I just butchered French there I think but yeah this smells pomegranate and this is like my second bottle and I finished the, the other one that I had uh, over a year ago and then uh, my birthday is in August and I asked for a refill and they purchased me the big size one and I have been um, I guess uh, using up other perfumes that I had and now it was about time that to go back to this and I think this is my staple and I really really love it and I don't know let's just give it a whiff I know you you guys can't smell it but mm. I mean just give it a whiff oh it's it smells so beautiful next um, next as for skincare I hear I heard not long ago but quite a while ago Wayne Goss talking about this uh, clinical 1% retinol, retinol treatment about polish choice <clears throat> And I asked for the small travel size. I thought this would be bigger. This was 20 euros. But yeah, so far so good. I haven't still gotten rid of uh, the hyperpigmentation. But I think ever since I have used it, because I've been using it for the past month and every other day, every other night, um, as they suggest. I have been feeling my skin softer with not as many breakouts and hopefully in the future um, I could address the dark spots that I have, discoloration, hyper hyperpigmentation and maybe if it helped me with wrinkles. I This doesn't help with my eye bags that it's from the allergies and whatnot because this is not supposed to be applied on the under eye area and I haven't uh, given a try to another cream, but that would be really good too. I'm a little bit getting a hot flash because I closed the window to stop the the noise, and here I don't have any air conditioning. So when the windows are closed, now it's getting warmer, and summer is gonna be hell. So it gets really hot. Moving on, I've fallen in love um, once again with Benefits That Girl, That Gal, sorry, and I had this product uh, for a long long the longest time ever and it is this I don't know if you can see this pinkish primer then gives that gives your skin that glow from within and it smells really 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 good and I have been reaching for it a lot because I've been finding myself gear gear more towards a more natural finish and on good skin days and I wanted to achieve that glow from within and this has been helping me a lot so to help me achieve that look I have been reaching a lot for my healthy mix serum foundation mine is in number 52 vanilla from bourgeois and this comes in a dispenser and this is really easy to blend into your skin it's light coverage but it gives you a beautiful finish as well so yeah I have been pairing it with some uh, heavier duty concealer because I still need it but since my skin has been acting out a little bit less 
uh, so I have been able to not be forced to reach to full coverage all the time so yeah next uh, as for eye remover I am I am all about this micellar water from Garnier and I go from bottle after one bottle after another I love micellar water but for the eyes I reach for this makeup remover waterproof um, with natural oils it's this purpley and clear one that when you shake it becomes a lavender color altogether and it's more oily it has a little bit of treatment for your eyelashes so it strengthens them it strengthens them <laughs> I can, if I can say it right uh, at the same time that you remove your makeup so uh, as for my face I remove the makeup with towels and the micellar water there and I cleanse my face uh, but for the eyes I have been reaching this for every day you know I soak a cotton pad and I let it sit on my eye with my eyes closed and with one swipe I get rid of the majority of the makeup even if it's waterproof or, or heavy duty and it's really good and it's not stingy or anything so I have been loving this a lot it's also a repurchase then I have been reaching um, for this mascara, which is the Clump Defy from Max Factor, I think the equivalent in the US is the Clump Crusher from CoverGirl. And I have been reaching this mascara because I have been falling again. I, <laughs> I was looking at myself in the mirror, sorry. I have been uh, defining my lower lashes a little bit, but since they are pretty long on their own and pretty uh, dense, I think, um, I didn't want to be really out there you know with that spidery or doll like look doll like like look or anything so this just give me the faintest amount and definition and yeah no clumps so this has been working really good for me I I'll show you I bet you have seen this many many times but I'll show you the one anyway so it's this rubbery wand with rubber bristles and yeah uh, next, um, also for the yeah for the eyes, I have been reaching a lot. I've been bouncing um, back and forth for, with my Sephora eyeliner pencil, the bone color one that I have, and this new one that I got, that it's from Jordana. It's called Continuous Almond. Now this is supposed to be an eyeshadow base or an eyeshadow pencil but if you use it on your waterline it's really long lasting and it really gives you this natural finish it's not as harsh as white and yeah it's really cheap and it's good overall so there's that also from Jordana I have been wearing uh, quite a lot this look that I am wearing today and if you want and you if you like this look please let me know down below and I will record a tutorial for it and it is this, um, it says the color is uh, Color Envy Waterproof uh, Number 3 Paradise Beauty. And it's this um, liquid eyeliner. And it comes with a brush. It's not a felt tip, it's a brush. And it applies really beautifully, it's really long lasting. And I have been using this double liner a lot where, I don't know if you guys can see. It's this um, black, blue, and this um, mm, light blue. I don't know how to say this blue right now. Uh, and I was gonna say coral, it's not coral. And emerald, no, it's not emerald, but well, you know, turquoise. Turquoise, it would be more light, but ah, yeah, it's close, it's close. Um, I've been wearing this double liner a lot and I've been liking it. So this has been one staple of the month for me there's that. As for the lips, I have been using two uh, colors like on and on and on and on and on and on and on. As I was saying uh, this NYX shade uh, called Na Napoleon which is this intense butter gloss. I'll swatch it in here in my hand for you. Um, I have been reaching for this color a lot. I think it's really springy, really beautiful and 
yeah, it's really opaque and I <laughs> and I I really like this color, but I committed I made a mistake and I made an online I placed an online order and I clicked two, so I got two, so I thought I might as well use the heck out of it because I have a lot of it. But yeah, another color combo that it's that it's been really growing on me and I've been loving it a lot, as you can see the pencil is really short already has been this uh, L'Oreal um, Colorish, I don't know if we can see, lip liner couture in the color 302, Bois de Rose, Bois de Rose, it's written, and it's this Dusty Rose liner. Here, I'm picking the lip pencil. And I have been reaching for this liner a lot. I think this is uh, the shade. Th this is the shade actually that I'm wearing today. And it, it's my lips but better, if you know what I'm saying. Everyone has this your lips but better shape shade. And I think I found the, this one that really complements my face. And it's really close to my lips, a little bit more amped up. But I am loving it a lot. And this, I align my lips, um, draw, draw them in just a little bit, you know, puckering up the corners and then I go all over the place with this L'Oreal Caress 101 in Tempting Lilac and it is this beautiful color, lilac as they say in here even though I wouldn't say this is lilac, I would say this is a mauve or a dusty rose but potato potato, it's this color that you see in here and it's the one that I am wearing and on the, lay, on the day, sorry, that I want a bit of a fuller lip or whatever uh, I just go with this number one wearing only a smile from Essence lipstick focus here, it's this one and uh, it's really faint, I don't know here it is. And I apply this on the, under my cupid's bow and on the center of my lower lip just to give a little bit more luminosity to complete the look. And that's it. So there you have it. These are my monthly favorites. These are the products that I've been loving throughout this month of May. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe to keep you updated. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment down below and leave suggestions and also tell me if you're liking the vlogs or not or we're not or any video suggestions that you that you would like to see and uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and see you in the next one. Bye!